When it comes to street outlaws, main man Justin Shearer, aka Big Chief, cannot be missed. He is, after all, one of the favorites on the show and has played a vital role in the growth of the show. However, after the latest season premiered earlier this year, fans were disappointed to learn that Big Chief wasn't a part of the cast. Big Chief has been missing for a few seasons now and is also absent from the No Prep Kings spin-off. So, has Big Chief left Street Outlaws forever? Is he coming back in the new season? Let's find out in today's video. Justin Shearer, aka Big Chief's success as a street racing champion is nothing short of extraordinary. He had a tough childhood and was forced to work young to make ends meet. However, he was always fascinated with fast cars and dreamt of being a street race car driver one day. He would often ride his bike to watch street races where he'd meet various racers which help him build strong connections and further his interest in street racing. Big Chief's first car was a 1972 Pontiac Le Mans which he heavily customized and nicknamed the Crow. The Crow played a major role in Shearer's early success and helped him earn a contract with Discovery Channel. Since joining Street Outlaws in 2013, Big Chief has gone on to become one of the best street racers and also a popular face on the show. But nearly a decade of being the face of Street Outlaws, Big Chief decided he no longer wanted to feature on the show. So, what went wrong? Many speculated that Big Chief's altercation with one of the cast, namely Precious Cooper, was the reason for his exit from Street Outlaws. Others speculated that he was fired by the producers. Well, turns out there are multiple reasons why Justin Shearer no longer wants to be on Street Outlaws. You see, Shearer had a falling out with the show's producers over new production rules. In a lengthy video on his YouTube channel, Big Chief cleared all the doubts regarding his absence from the show. He opened up about the current situation with America's favorite racing reality show. He seems to specifically take issue with the show's new race Euroweyan policy. According to this policy, the winners of select preseason races would be taped to participate in Street Outlaws. However, Big Chief noted that a disproportionate number of Street Outlaws Memphis racers had taken part while the rest were ignored and left by the wayside. It looks like Big Chief isn't happy with the show focusing on a select group of racers while ignoring the rest. Now, another reason why Big Chief decided to distance himself from Street Outlaws was to focus on his business and private life. You see, Big Chief is the co-founder of Midwest Street Cars. This is a car modification and repair shop located in Oklahoma City. Chief founded the business with fellow street racer and Street Outlaws colleague Sean Ellington, aka Murder Nova. Big Chief is currently the one in charge of Midwest Street Cars. The business also has a YouTube channel which is mainly run by Big Chief. It looks like Big Chief wants to focus on growing his business and YouTube channel. Midwest Street Cars currently has over 350,000 subscribers and it could cross half a million followers by the end of the year. Speaking of his private life, Justin Shearer has two sons and his first wife Alicia. The couple was married for a decade before they split in 2017. According to Shearer, he wasn't able to devote much time to his family which played a role in his divorce from Alicia Shearer. Today, Big Chief is dating fellow racer Jackie Brush. She too is a racing enthusiast and is a member of Car Chicks, a motorsport organization solely for women. The two keep a low profile and do not divulge a lot about their personal life. However, Big Chief did state that Jackie is his future on his Cash Days recap podcast last year. It looks like Big Chief is content with how his current life is. He wants to focus on his business, his kids, and his relationship with Jackie. And with his displeasure with how things are going on with Street Outlaws, it's unlikely that he'll want to return to the show. But what are your thoughts on Big Chief not returning to Street Outlaws? Also, do you think he'll ever make a return to the show in the future? Let us know in the comments below. And that's all for today. We hope you enjoyed watching this one. Thank you for watching. And we will see you in the next one.